So, ever used Excel's checkboxes? You might not even know they exist, given they don't appear in the ribbon by default. You have to go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon and enable the Developer tab. Then click Insert, select the checkbox form control and draw it on the grid. You also have to provide a cell link to determine whether the state of the checkbox is equal to true or false, so you can use it in formulas. If you want to resize the checkbox, you can, well, only the container it's housed in, which is a bit pointless because the checkbox itself doesn't change size. If you want to change its colour, you can't. If you zoom in, it's nice and pixelated. So already you can see that Excel's long-standing archaic 90s style checkboxes are not fantastic. Thankfully an update was released only last week. Brand new checkboxes are here. Before you get too excited, they are currently only available to Office Insiders on the beta channel, so it'll take a little while to roll out to the production version. Let's look at their advantages. Firstly, they are easily accessible. You only have to go to the Insert tab and you'll see the checkbox button. Clicking it inserts a checkbox in the active cell or in each cell of a range with the true or false value built in. You can resize it by changing the font size. You can change its colour by changing the font colour. And when you zoom in, it's not pixelated. When you delete a checkbox, it doesn't disappear entirely because we get this ghost effect when hovering over the cell. This makes it easy to reactivate if need be. Instead of using the mouse, use the spacebar to toggle between the two states. And finally, the greatest thing is these checkboxes can be combined with conditional formatting to visually enhance our worksheets.